Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Stamp and Chat. I'm Gina from Gina K Designs. I'm so glad to have all of you here with us on this happy Monday. Oh, it, my phone is telling me that Gina K is going live. Uh, it is great to see all of you. It was a beautiful day here in Wisconsin. It's cooling down a little bit. And uh, it was just the perfect day to be inside and crafting. Um, I Every day is a perfect day to be inside and crafting in my book. But I hope you guys are all having some great weather. I know some of you are in the path of some storms, so I hope you guys are okay tonight. And I hope you stick with us and don't get dropped. So welcome to everybody from Facebook, YouTube, and Twitch. Uh, tonight, everything going okay? A little pixelated on... Uh... YouTube. A little pixelated on YouTube. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, I hope you guys are seeing it okay out there. I don't see any comments yet, but hopefully um, hopefully that will clear up. Not sure why that's happening. But um, so I'd like to welcome all of you. If you're watching us on YouTube, if you wouldn't mind giving us a thumbs up and maybe even subscribing to the channel, this way you'll always get a notification when we're ready to go live or we have some kind of new video. So tonight I thought that it would be fun to create a sunrise scene using a stencil and a die. And then for those of you that don't have the stencil and don't have the die, I thought I would do a second version of that card, maybe um, tweak some of the full image points of it, but do a second version of the card where you don't need that at all. You don't need the stencil, you don't need the die, and we'll kind of go freehand and see how that goes. So hopefully, um, I see that most people are saying now it's clear on YouTube. I don't know. It's like YouTube needs a jump start or something. There's all kinds of weird stuff going on on the internet these days. I think we're all uh, we're all using a lot more internet than we ever have before, and maybe maybe the uh, information superhighway, maybe it's rush hour. <laughs> so um, what's new in your neck of the woods? Anything, anything going on over there? Well, I have, I got a gift. You got a gift? A very special gift, a very kind gift from uh, somebody close by, Sherry Ross Fujihira. Ooh. Sent me this. <laughs> Oh, oh, wow. Makes me kind of want to do this. <laughs> that is some hat. That is, like, you know what? That hat has foil on it. That is like a thermoweb hat. <laughs> that is an awesome cowboy hat. I, I love it. What do you guys think of Tom's hat? <laughs> yes. I love it. Sherry, thank you. You're making all my dreams a reality, right? Right this minute, mm -hmm. all my dreams are coming true. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Easy, big fella. <laughs> oh no! Well, I see some people on YouTube are having trouble and on Facebook, and I'm not. I'm not sure why that's happening tonight. But Tom, they say that you were a little blurry, so maybe you can come back a little later when it clears up a bit, and you can. Um, share with everyone the hat who it was blurry for them. Yeah, I don't know. Now, now some of you are saying that it's freezing up and others are saying super clear pictures. So I don't know if there are just outages in certain areas. You just can't tell. Um, okay. So tonight I want to show you the stencil that we're going to use. We're going to use this stencil and this is a two piece stencil. So this stencil is called the sunshine stencil. I'll hold it up here until we go to the overhead. So we've got this stencil and then we've got this little piece that comes in it too. And this allows you to do a couple different kinds of circles. So you can get you know full color inside the center of the circle or if you want, you can accent around the outside of the circle and have the inside of the circle very, very light. Yeah, I'm sorry guys. I don't know why it's not good on either place. I don't know what's going on. I don't know how many more times we can yell at Spectrum. Tom, I think it might be time for us to switch. Get away from Spectrum and get into something else. Should we go out come in? We could, if you guys, okay, so we're going to go out and we're going to come back in. So your screen's going to go black for just a second. Just hang in there. Don't go anywhere. We'll go out. We'll come back in and hopefully that will help fix the problem. So just stay tuned.
Okay. All right. Hopefully we're back. Can you see me now? So we're back. And what I'm going to do, yeah, I know. I just said that um, we we're going to just go out for just a second and we're back in. Okay. So I'm going to cut this piece of cardstock down to a quarter sheet of cardstock for my first card. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to make two different versions of this card, but we're going to do the first one full stencil with this beautiful sunshine stencil. And then we're going to do the second one without stencil. All right. Looks like everybody's saying it's nice and clear now. So that was a good thing to do, Tom. If we have to do it again, we'll do it again. So just keep in mind that if the picture starts getting really bad and a lot of people say it's bad, we'll go back out and we'll come back in again. All right. So for my first card, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to do my sunshine right in the center. Okay. I'm going to have my sun right here. Now, what, what I want to do is I want to create some hills in here. And then the sun looks like it's rising up on the other side of the hills. And I'm using a quarter sheet of cardstock and then I'm actually going to trim it down after I add the hills. And it's a little tough because I want to use a die for this, but it is going to, um, it's not going to cut all the way, but we'll finish the cutting um, after we get all of the pieces on there. Oh, I'm sorry. It's freezing up and blurry again. I don't know what to do. I really don't know what to do. I don't know why that's happening. I feel like the only thing we can do is just go back home and set it all up there again. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay. So now I'm going to get my blending brushes and I'm going to start with a little bit of yellow ink. And the ink color that I'm going to use here is Wild Dandelion. So Unknown color. let's see here. I'm going to start by adding a darker yellow around the perimeter. Yeah, I'm just going to keep, I'm just going to keep, um, keep going here. And we're going to see maybe if it just fixes itself. Otherwise, we're going to have to start looking at, uh, at another internet provider here. Okay, so we're gonna go in a circular motion around the outside here of this circle, like around the outside perimeter inside the circle, outside, inside. So we're leaving kind of a bright spot right in the center. Okay, then I'm gonna take that brush and I'm gonna lightly work my way out to all the rays, but I don't want to go with a real heavy hand because I want those rays to kind of just dissolve. All right. So some people have it clear, some people don't. I wonder if weather's just affecting certain areas. That's really a, a pain, I know, and I apologize for that. I think we're, we're just dealing with some weird stuff lately with the internet. Okay. So now I'm going to add a little bit of orange because we want this to be um, really, really vibrant. Well, they tell us we have the fastest internet provided and they had the guy out here testing the system and testing the computers. And they said, boy, it's the fastest we have. So I'm not sure. I guess we have to get them back out again and tell them they're wrong. All right, now I'm gonna add orange close to the center here. Yeah, it could be Amazon Prime Day, right? Everybody's on Amazon buying all their staples. <laughs> okay, and I'm going a little bit more in the center, okay? And then very lightly, just working out about halfway. All righty. Okay. Now I'm gonna take this off so we can see what this looks like. Isn't that pretty? So you can see the sun rays are going all the way out. Hopefully you can see all of that, but it's a little bit more vibrant, closer to the center. Now, if you wanna add more, you can always go back. It's pretty easy to line up if you wanna add a little bit more. And I might do that. I might add just a little bit more, maybe, I have to see. I have to see if I feel confident that I'm lining it up well. I don't feel that confident. All right, so we're going to stop right there. 
And then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to use an oval die. Now, if you watched one of my older videos, I did this in an older video, but a lot of you are newer to Gina K Designs, so you may not have seen this technique before. So I'm going to get some grass green ink. Could also use jelly bean. Jelly bean would be a really pretty color. Let's use some jelly bean green ink. And then um, let me get my paper cutter. I'm going to cut a little bit here on this paper cutter. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use an oval die. Now, this is kind of a fun way to make some hills if you've never tried this before and you don't have any stitch stamps that make hills. Now, some people like plain hills. I like plain hills too, but I'm going to use the single stitched oval die for this. So let me show you what that looks like. We have two different kinds of ovals in our collection. We have the double stitched and the single stitched. I'm going to use the single stitched one and I'm going to use the biggest one because I don't want the hills to be too steep. And I'm going to cut out two ovals. Okay, let's cut out two ovals here. Yeah, we're going to make some hills. Tom, what's your horse's name? <laughs> Internet. <laughs> That's a terrible name. <laughs> How about triggered? Because <laughs> I'm triggered right now with the internet. <laughs> okay. All right. So I got the two hills here. <laughs> no, we don't need steep hills. That's oh my goodness. We went on a bike ride this weekend. Last weekend, Tom and I went camping and we went on. Uh, we went to a place in Wisconsin called Governor Dodge State Park. Well, it's absolutely beautiful at Governor Dodge State Park, but the hills are alive. Let me tell you, they were there were massive hills there. And um, so, yeah, but we did it. OK, so now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take this oval and I'm going to cut this oval in half. OK. And I'm not worried about it being perfect. Don't worry about it being perfect. It doesn't have to be. All right. So there, I've, I've got two half ovals. And I'm going to cut one more here. I'm not even really making sure it's lined up well. Because it doesn't matter. All I need is a straight edge, right? And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my summarize. Let's get down here. And then I'm going to place a hill right here, like that. And then you really only needed, you really only needed one oval. I cut two, but I'll save the other one because what you could do now is you could cut this one in half. Let's see if it works. If it doesn't work, then I'll be glad I have the other one. <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so then, We'll put that in the middle and then we'll make this hill come over to this side like that. And we'll make this hill come over to this side like that. There we go. Now you could also like tuck this one back here if you wanted to, but I kind of like the way this looks. Now, if you feel like these hills are too high, you could have some lower hills. So you could just trim this down just a little bit more so you, you can stagger the height of the hills so you can have this high one in the center and then you could have this one on this side and then you could have a lower one down here like that it's not that much lower but it's a little lower okay so let's attach these together So I'm going to take my first hill. You, know, you can stagger it a little bit more if you want to. It doesn't have to be dead center, but we'll just put it in the center for now. And then we'll do this one over here. Let's get a little more tape on that. Being a little stingy with my tape. We all get a little stingy with our tape, right? <laughs> And then we'll do this one. So the stitches are cute. It's a cute way to create some hills, the look of hills. All right, there we go. 
So now we have three hills. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this out with a rectangle die. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry guys. I hope you'll hang in there because it does seem to clear up. I think this, I don't know if this is the best time for us to go live because it seems like it's just a time where everybody goes home and gets on the internet in our area. All right, so I'm gonna use the master layouts two for this one because I wanna match my rectangles. And then I'm going to just place that here. So we're going to see, I want to give, you know, more sunshine, less hills. Okay. So I'm going to cut this out and it's not going to cut out all the way. Okay. It's going to at least put the impression though of those stitches in there. It's really thick. It is like four layers thick. There we go. Okay. Now, if you have a Gemini or any kind of electric die cutting machine, then this is super easy. It just pushes it right through. So now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to just bend that where it didn't cut all the way through. And I'm not going to worry about it. I'm going to just, you know, peel that away. And then with my scissors, let me find my scissors here. I'm just going to clean up that edge just by kind of leaning the scissors in there kind of underneath and getting rid of all the, that excess. And if it's not perfectly straight, you can always go back with a paper cutter and fix that. So that looks pretty good. That's not gonna be too bad. So you can see how that looks. Isn't that fun? Yeah, maybe an hour earlier for our lives. That might work, maybe. Um, maybe that would work. We'll give that some thought. We could try it and see if the internet is less good. Um, but we are going to do a little bit of screaming again, too, because the speed that we're paying for, <laughs> we should not have any internet problems here. Okay. Or we may have to go to fiber, but fiber, fiber is so expensive and we'd have to, like rewire the whole building and I don't know guys maybe we'll see okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this down you can you can use the die if you want the matching die I'm just going to freehand cut it right now I'm cutting it to um three and five eighths of an inch by four and seven eighths of an inch that should match that should be what that straight panel is and that should look pretty good there we go okay so isn't that kind of fun just a fun way to do a sunrise now let's put a um we'll do we'll do a butterfly maybe some flowers on this so let's just connect this together here and i think what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna go through my box of flowers and stuff to add the flowers and this is something that I really enjoy doing. I, I have a whole box. I have like trays like this. I'll show you. I have trays of like pre-done bits and pieces of things. So we'll go through and see if uh, we can find some flowers and leaves that will work. If not, we can always stamp some new ones. But okay, so that's the first way to do this. Now this is very, very crisp, um, you know, very, I don't know, it's like very professional looking, right? You've got the nice crisp lines of the ovals. You've got the nice crisp lines of the stencil. Now we're gonna do something a little looser. And this is for those of you that don't have a stencil. You don't want to buy a stencil right now. You're just fine without a stencil. Um, so what I would recommend, the first thing that you do is you probably have a circle die or a um, circle punch somewhere in your collection. Or maybe you even have just a circle stencil somewhere. You could always use that. Or you can just freehand cut a circle if you can do that. 
And now what I'm going to do here is I'm going to pick a circle die. I have so many circle dies here. I want to pick one that's kind of around that size. So I think what I'll do is I'll use one from Master Layouts 3. But any, any circle will work. Let's see. That will be a nice size. Maybe go one smaller than that. Let's see what I have in here. I have so many circle dies to pick from. But whatever size you want the... Uh, the center of your sun to look like. So I'll use that. And then I'm just going to use a quarter sheet of cardstock. So let me grab a piece of cardstock here. And remember, once you cut this, you can use it over and over again, especially if you're doing the same color. So I'm going to cut a circle here out of this quarter sheet of cardstock. And I'm going to kind of put it in the same spot like a little bit low in the sky yes it, that would look really good with a large amount of sentiments you're right okay yeah I don't know I think it's I think it's that there's probably just a lot of people in our area on the internet which is kind of a problem um, so we're gonna have to look into a way to fix it so hang in there guys and we'll just keep crafting <laughs> We'll just have, try and have fun anyway. Okay, so now I'm going to just lay these together like this. And if you want to use a little washi tape to connect them, you certainly can, or you can use purple tape. Purple tape is even better for something like this because it's not as sticky. If I can find my purple tape. I still have it labeled on my drawers. So I have no idea where anything is still. So we're going to use washi tape because I don't know where it is. Okay. Alrighty. So we'll just put that that washi right there just to hold it together so it doesn't shift. And then we'll do the same thing. We'll start with the yellow and we'll create a nice yellow center. Where are my ink stand holders? I'm getting ink all over me. Here we go. That makes it easier. Okay. That is so much better. Okay, so now I'm going to create that little edge first. So this is a lot going to be a lot more freeform. And we're going to go in with a little bit of the sweet mango again. That's wild dandelion. And we'll add a little bit of that just on the edge. I'm just like, I can feel the bristles just kind of grabbing on to the dip in the circle. And then I'll go back in the center a little bit more with some yellow. Kind of going back and forth and just getting a nice blend. Okay, so this part is gonna look very nice and crisp. But here's where it's going to get a little crazy, a little bit uh, more freeform looking. So let's take this off. Okay. So now we have the center of our sun, right? Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're just going to use the edge of this cardstock. And we'll start, we'll start right in the center here. Okay. And we're going to take that blending brush and really load up some yellow on it. And we're just going to ink more on the cardstock and just let the bristles hit over the side. Like that. And then we'll do the same thing with whatever uh, sweet mango is left on the brush. Just a little bit like that, okay? And that created the first ray. Now we're going to go on a little bit of an angle. This is not going to be perfect, and I'm going to go a little heavier down here, not so heavy at the top this time. And the same thing with the orange. Okay. And I'm going to do the same thing again. And we're just creating our own rays. And they can be different lengths, because in real life, you know, it's not so perfect like a stencil. Okay. Keep going. 
Now this takes a little more work, obviously, than a stencil, but it's okay. It still looks really, it looks really pretty. I love the way it looks. And, you know, if you want to make this card tonight and you don't have a ray, a sun ray stencil or a sunshine stencil, and you want to make this tonight, you can. And it's just a different look. So you see how my sun is starting to come to life here? So this is loosey goosey sunshine. The other one is, you know, prim and proper sunshine. <laughs> I love the way the rays kind of come out of the sun here too. Yeah, I know not everybody, you know, people are waiting for our next release and maybe they've already purchased some new things and they want to make this and add it to their um, lighthouse or their sailboat. They want to have that going in front of the sun. And maybe you just, you know, you can't place another order right now and you want to make this card tonight. So this is a way to do it. But if you like the crispness of the stencil, that is available. That stencil is a Gina K Design stencil and it's called Sunshine. So whatever works for you, no pressure. Okay. I like this. I think it's pretty. I think it's fun. It's different. This kind of um, sunshine looks really pretty too with the ocean minded stamp set. I love that one too. But I, I love how you catch the rays by just, you know, really getting that ink along the edge. The color I'm using with Wild Dandelion is Sweet Mango. It's this color here. And it's just what's left on the brush from, you know, the last card that I just did. You don't need a lot, just something to kind of give it that second color. Okay, so I'm not going to worry about doing all down here. This is, you know, a lot of work. So I'm going to, now, this is a little harder for me to see. So what I might do is I might go here. Yeah, it is a lot more work this way. That's true. So for those of you that like the quick and easy, that's the beauty of the stencil. But if, uh, you know, the thing is, is that I don't know why... We don't need to be in a hurry when we make cards. It's not a race. It's a hobby and it should be enjoyed. And you know, when things take a while, and I know sometimes, <laughs> if you guys are like me, um, Tom and I are going to a birthday party. And what usually happens is Tom is in the car with the car running and I am inside at my craft room table making the birthday card. <laughs> So yeah, I get it that sometimes you just need that fast, quick idea, but it's also fun just to play sometimes. Just maybe you don't have any mojo and you don't know what you want to make. Try making a few of these sunshine backgrounds and just put them away for when you know what you want to make and you need a card that is a pretty sunshine. So here we go. I'm working my way around. I started on that side because I couldn't really see where I was going and I thought it would be easier to uh, kind of see it this way. Now, if you really want to see better, you can always cut your strip out of clear acetate. Then you can see what's going on underneath really easily. Sometimes I like to just shut my mouth and listen to the music because it's so pretty, Tom. Okay, so we're almost there. Totally different looking sunshine too. And I've seen stencils with big wide rays. Now our stencil has very thin rays and I, I do like the thin rays, but when you do this technique, you can make them as thin or as wide as you want. And I'm just using ink that's left on my brush. I'm not even re-inking every time. Okay. So there we go. Oh, Tom, it froze up. Maybe we should go in and out. We're back. We're back. We're back. Sorry about that. Okay. So I'm just going to keep going. I'm going to get some of that green cardstock now. 
Now, for those of you who don't have oval dies, we're just going to cut some hills. Okay, so we'll just start on one side here and we'll cut a hill. We'll see what that looks like. Does that cover enough? I think I might need a bigger hill. Let's go over here and we'll use that hill for the other side. Okay, so we'll just cut a nice hill here. There we go. I could probably cut a better hill if I wanted to, but we'll use that as a hill. You know, Kathleen, I've heard that. A lot of people are telling me that the internet is acting up all over the place. I even noticed that, like, on my phone, it's super pokey. And that's, like, a whole different service. I'm just trimming this. This is going to be, like, bad bangs where you just keep trimming some off and <laughs> until you don't have any left. Okay, so I'll tape this hill on first. Now, again, this doesn't have stitches, but that's okay. Let's see what this one looks like here. Oh, this will work. Now, let me show you something else that you can do. Because the other um, the other one that I made, where is it? Oh, here it is. The other one has these stitches, which kind of accent, and you can kind of see where the hills come from. Here on this one, you don't really have that, so you don't see the definition as much. Just take your blending brush and just add a little bit of green ink. I don't know what color's on here, but it's definitely darker. Now, can you see that better? See how it just creates like a little haze? So we'll just do it on the side there like that. And that just accents it a little bit coming down. So we'll cut this in half and we'll add that. Kathleen wants you to play more country music, Tom, now that you have a cowboy hat. <laughs> that last song that Tom was playing was a song that he wrote for our daughter, Rena. Okay, so I'm going to use up what this uh, oval a little bit, I think. No, maybe I'll get another piece of cardstock. I don't want to... I don't want to ruin my plan of going totally freeform here, freestyle. I'm freestyling. Is that what rappers do? <laughs> freestyling like a rapper over here. All right, I'm going to make this kind of a bigger hill. And I'm using the Tim Holtz scissors. Did you hear that car go by, Tom? You need a soundproof studio. We can even like put it over here so it overlaps on this one a little bit. So we'll add a little bit of green again. The color that was last on here was some fresh asparagus. So that's a pretty dark green. And I think that's why you're getting a nice shading there. Tom, they're gonna wanna see you in that cowboy hat again. You know that, right? So we'll just put this hill over here. Now for this one, I'm not going to cut it with a die because remember, we're going free form. I do want to make sure that I cut all of this off. So I'm going to start up here on the one side because I know this is a straight edge up here. And I'm just going to cut a little bit of that off so I have a nice straight edge there. And then I'm going to do the same thing. Let's see. I'll cut this down. This whole thing's going to go down to the same size, three and a half inches. So this is going to be a tricky cut for me. Because it's thick, but I think I made it. And now this is going to go to four and three quarter inches. So the whole thing's going to be, well, let's just see. Maybe we don't have to make it that off. Let's Let's just cut it straight first, and then we can cut some off the sides. So we're gonna make it three and a half inches, just like that other one. Three and a half inches this way, 
And then we're going to evenly cut some off here to get it down to about four and three quarter inches. So let's start with a quarter of an inch off each side first. One quarter, turn it. And we'll do another quarter. We get it to five. And then I think we can cut a little more off of this side. I actually really like the idea of the sun being a little bit off to the one side, but let's try to make it look similar. So we'll go to four and three quarters. I just have to think about it for a second. So this is four and three quarters by five, and you can see that's gonna lay on there the same way. So I'm gonna cut another background panel. Since that was four and three quarters, by three and a half, we're going to go four and seven eighths by three and five eighths. That's just one eighth of an inch on each side bigger. There we go. Completely dialless and <laughs> thank you, Tina. Thumbs up for Gina. I love that. Thank you. Yeah, if you don't mind giving me a thumbs up. And I promise, guys. Please hang in there with us. I know that it's very inconvenient when it's blurry and it's pixelated and it's not really that much fun. And we're gonna really work on that and try to get that all fixed. We know it can be done. Um, we just have to figure out what is going on. We had very, we had special internet put into this particular room just to make sure that it was fast, so. It's not the whole building. Nobody else is here. Nobody else is on the internet. All right, so there we go. Now, um, I would suggest if you're going to make this card afterwards, also add that little bit of green blending brush on this one. I think it would look a little bit better if you have a little bit of green there too, since we accented these two. I don't know. It'll just give you a little bit of something extra. Okay, so now I think we should use one of the new dies from the kit, because I love the words in the kit. So I did something here. I'm gonna just tape that and press that down. There we go. Okay. Okay, let's see. We've got, um, we've got the today die and the enjoy die. So let's cut both of those out at the same time in black. So Wendy, our, um, one of our girls in customer service, she came in today. I don't know if she's watching. I don't know if she watches my videos or not. Wendy, are you out there? Um, but Wendy came in today and she said to me, she gave me a heart attack because you guys know me. She said, I think you should do something and not use black cardstock tonight. And I just made, I just made this sound. <gasps> I was totally not okay for a minute. I had to sit down. I needed a cold rag on my head. <laughs> I have to have black on every card. And I said, well, what should I put on the card? And she was kind of like looking at me, like almost laughing a little bit, like I was that attached to, to black cardstock. I said, you don't understand. It's kind of my thing. All right, so I'm gonna cut both of these words out on one piece of cardstock. I've got them blade side up. For any of you guys that are newer to Gina K Designs, I do recommend cutting your intricate word dies with the blade side up and then the cardstock on top and then off to one side or the other uh, just to get more pressure. And I don't know why it works that way, but it works that way. <laughs> so I told her that I promised I would either use navy or maybe charcoal brown or slate and she could really see me sweating. And <laughs> so, and you know what? I didn't even, I didn't even honor it. I have to use black. I just have to. I think it makes everything pop. You guys know that about me. So if you uh, prefer a different color for your borders, I get it. I use a lot of black and I get it. Maybe you wanna add some other colors in there, but honestly, I just love black cardstock. Okay, so now I'm going to poke this out. I have to poke more of the holes because it's in there. I'm using the Tim Holtz craft pick for this. Let's see if I can get it out there. There we go. So there's enjoy. 
That is such a pretty dye. It's so intricate. That's right, it's my signature. My signature color. And then I'm gonna just take the dot. There's the dot. See how tiny that dot is? If I didn't know better, that could be a, uh, um, a mole. <laughs> I have a lot of those too. All right, now I'm gonna cut the rest of, I mean, punch the rest of this one out. That one came out really easy. There's the today. So we're going to do one using the today and one using the enjoy. And of course, we can use flowers from the kit. There's beautiful flowers in the kit. I love them. But let's look in my box of trickery here. These are all little bits and pieces of things that I started. And I've got all kinds. Wow, I've got a little echo in here. Oh, look at this one. This is pretty. So I like to just kind of <clears throat> decide if there's something else I can use here. I have lots of little pieces here. Oh, this one's pretty too, the pink. I like to kind of match the flowers. I've got a ton of them here that I didn't even cut out yet. This is what I do when I don't have mojo. I just make these things. I just stamp layered flowers. And then when I have mojo, but I don't have as much time, I go through and I just pick little bits and pieces of things. Here is a layered leaf that will go really pretty with that. That would be pretty together, wouldn't it? A little bit of sun. Ooh, here's another one. We could do two flowers on the side. I think I like the one. I don't know about you guys. Okay. Pink is pretty too. And I did see a stem for the pink. Let me show you this. Here's one of the stems for these flowers. Isn't that a pretty combination like that? Tom, it froze again. So we're gonna have to go out and Okay, I'm back, I'm back. Okay, so um, here's the little stems that you can cut out with those flowers. Isn't that a pretty combination right there? I love that. So you like, you think a smaller flower? Maybe this one would be good coming out off the side. I don't know. I think I'll go with this one, even though I agree a smaller flower would be pretty. I think this will just be a nice little accent here and then we'll do the greeting. And we could put it on this side too, if we want. So that, and then we can do the big today and we can like that. And then we can do the big today and we can add some stamped greetings around that. So let's do that for one card. And then for the other card, let's see. I also have, um, Boy, I have this tree. This is cute, isn't it? This is a thermal web tree. That's kind of cute in there. We could do that. It's got some glitz glitter gel on it. That would be really cute. I don't have a butterfly or I would use a butterfly. We could do that. We could even sink this little tree down into that like that. So it's growing out of the hill there. Could do something like that. That'd be cute. Let's use those. Oh, there is a big butterfly, but that's a huge butterfly. So maybe if I have a smaller butterfly somewhere, I could make one like that. Yeah, I think these, I think these are going to work. Okay. So let's just do that. And then we're going to add some stamped greetings. I have all kinds of things in here, guys. I have all kinds of words cut out already. I have ovals and some backgrounds that I made, all kinds of stuff. So when I don't have any mojo and I'm just in the mood to do something, here's all masking magic, um, I just stamp tons of different combinations of colors. Isn't that a beautiful combination right there? I'll tell you what that is. That is barely there. Warm Glow and Peach Bellini together. So pretty. Okay, so we got what we need out of this. 
Oh, I'll show you my second box. <laughs> Here's my second box of things. I have all frames, lots of backgrounds that I've made in the past, and um, even more things to cut out. Oh my goodness, borders, all kinds of things. So y'all should have a box like this. And just when you don't know what to do, don't feel like you're not creative because just sitting and making elements to use on future cards is very creative. It gives you a lot of joy. Um, and I think uh, it's worth it. Okay, so we'll put the tree. We can even have this tree extend a little bit outside because it's going to go on a card base. And now what we have to decide is what color card bases do we want to use for these? I also have some more flowers here, but I don't think any of these are going to work. This one's really pretty. I love this one. This was one that I made uh, using our layering stencils. Okay. So let me get some card bases here. We have a little box of those as well. And we could try, I really think yellow. I, I just feel like yellow is the ticket. Here's a piece of yellow cardstock. And doesn't that just make everything just so happy? So we could definitely use yellow. Another color that we could use, I don't know how it's going to look, but peach bellini might look really nice with this one because this has peach on it. So this is what that would look like. And that will just pull that peach out and that flower. So maybe we'll do a peach bellini and we'll do a yellow. What do you guys think? You with me? Okay, so these are both top fold cards. So <laughs> we're not going to use these, especially because we're going to give these cards away. And um, if you uh, weren't here on our last live, we gave away the card that I made and we gave another card away to a lucky commenter. So if you would like to leave a comment, it can be anything. It can be what your weather's doing. It could be anything. If you've already left a comment, you're already entered to the drawing. But if you haven't left a comment le yet, go ahead and leave a comment. And then what Tom's going to do is he's going to scroll super fast back and forth through all the comments. And then wherever his mouse lands, that's going to be one of our winners. And he'll do it a second time. And that will be another winner. So go ahead and leave us a comment. And if you're watching over on uh, YouTube, I would love it if you'd give this video a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you if you must. I understand. But all interaction is good interaction. So even if you give me a thumbs down, it still helps my channel, <laughs> even though it makes me cry. Okay, I'm going to score this at four and a quarter inches. This is Peach Bellini. And also, if you wouldn't mind subscribing to the channel, that would be awesome too. All right, and four four and a quarter on this wild dandelion. And then we're just gonna add a couple little greetings here and these cards are gonna be ready to give away. Okay, so now everybody has more of a vested interest in these cards because they might be yours. So let's start by putting this sunrise onto the card base first. Okay. And I have lots of cards that we're going to give away. We're going to give away all the cards that I make going forward. And we're going to give away extra cards, too, if we run out of cards. Like, let's say I do a complicated card and I only get one made. We'll bring a couple others to give away as well. All right, so I'm going to use some Connect Glue. Put some Connect Glue here just on this scrap piece of paper because this is a super skinny design. And whenever you have a super skinny design like this, it's actually easier just to tap the glue onto the back of the design rather than try to get the glue on the design. I like doing it this way. Okay, I don't wanna mess up this card because this card is going to somebody. All right, so we'll get today on here. Now, before I stick that down, I definitely want to see what greed I'm going to put with this. Um, let's see. I'm going to use today, tomorrow, and every day until the end of time. Um, and then I'm going to put I love you up here. I love you today, tomorrow, and every day until the end of time. That would be nice. I think that would be really nice. 
I love you. Yep, we'll do that. Okay, so that's a good spot for that. And then we'll pop this flower up using some foam squares. So whoever wins, when you get your card, make sure you share it in our group so I know you got it. All right, so I'm going to put this flower here and then this little leaf right down here like that. I think that will work. That will be pretty. I could put the flower down here and the leaf coming up this way. Now, you see, I always overthink it. I'm just going to do it the way I wanted to do it, and that's the way I'm going to do it. Okay, so I'll put the leaf down first, and then we'll pop the flower up. Do you guys overthink your positioning of everything? You can get a little crazy sometimes with that. So we get the flower there. And I used one foam square on the back here. And we'll pop that flower up on the foam square. Okay. Now the scary part. We're going to add the greeting, but I'm going to do the greetings both at the end. So let's get this one going too. So this one, the tree is going to be on this side. And see, once you get it on the card base, it's kind of fun to see the tree extend outside of the frame. I love that. I think that's cute. But if you don't like that, by all means, keep your tree inside. I have to decide exactly where I want it, how much I want extending. That looks pretty good. Okay, so first we'll get this card base on there and then we'll deal with the tree or this panel on there and then we'll deal with the tree. So yeah, this is a little bit of a different style for me. Usually I have nothing but flowers. <laughs> On my cards because I am a flower girl. You guys know that. Okay, there we go. And then we'll slip this cute little tree, this little guy down in there, and we'll have him growing in the sunlight. Oh, how pretty. That's so cute. And then we'll do enjoy. And let's see. Enjoy the good things in life. Enjoy every moment. Ooh, let's do that. If we put the enjoy up here a little bit, we can put every moment right here. Enjoy every moment. Mm. Enjoy, I don't know what I wanna say. Gotta think. Enjoy. Your birthday? Would this be a good birthday card? Would somebody want that as a birthday card? I think they would. We'll make it a birthday card. This way, when I send this card to somebody, they can actually use it and send it to somebody, if you're planning on doing that. I don't know if you will or not, but I would. <laughs> I used to belong to a stamp group. You know, a bunch of us used to get together and we would stamp cards. I think I've told this story before, but... You know, I'm old, so just humor me. Pretend you never heard it like I'm grandma. Um, and um, what we would do is we would make cards and we would send cards to each other. And uh, one of my good friends sent me a birthday card and it was my own card. <laughs> what she did was, what we, what we would do is we would send the card to each other and then we would cut the front of the card off and we'd put it on a new card base and then we'd resend it to, um, you know, to somebody. And she sent me my own card. <laughs> okay, now for this, I'm gonna use just the tip of this Tim Holtz tool and I'm just gonna put a tiny little dot of glue there. And then I'm going to drop it. It's not gonna let go. I'm gonna drop it over the that and then I'm going to press it into position. There we go. And that's not the position. Oh my word. I'm dotting the E. Remember that. When you think that you made a mistake, just remember Gina dotted the letter E live in a video. And she was proud of it. <laughs> Add that into the mix too. <laughs> okay. So now I'm going to put your birthday down here 
and let me get my misty out because this is the nerve wracking part. You know, when you're, when you got everything done, <laughs> hopefully you guys are laughing and you're not reporting me. <laughs> okay. So enjoy your birthday. Oh, the good things in life. That's a nice one too. How about that? Enjoy the good things in life. No, we're going to stick to birthday. This is a great card for a birthday. So we're just going to put that on there. Enjoy your birthday. Now, I do want to show you one little trick here. If you're not sure if this is straight, here's a little tip. Okay. So it looks straight to me, but, you know, we put a lot of work into this card. So I don't want to mess it up. So I know that the card is up in the corner of my Misty, right? Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the index sheet from my stamp set and I'm going to lay it right on top of the card, right in that top corner. Okay. And I'm going to put the magnet down there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp it with some black ink onto the acetate. Does that look straight? Now, it's very light, but I can see that it's straight. So now that I can see that it's straight, I'm going to remove the acetate and I'm going to make sure that's pressed up in that corner and I'm going to stamp it again. If it wasn't straight, I could just wipe off the acetate and move it and make sure that I got it into a straight position before I actually made the commitment. Okay, enjoy your birthday. Yes, there we go. So there we go. There's that card. Okay. So we're going to put this card aside so I don't mess it up because that's going to go to somebody. And then let's do this one. Now for this one, I'm going to use two different greetings. I'm going to use the I love you. Today, tomorrow, and every... T tomorrow, I love you today, tomorrow, and every day until the end of time. Oh, Tom, this is a card I would send to you. You still there? I am here. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> I was gasping. Oh, you were? I didn't hear the gasping. I'd like to hear I'd like to hear gasping from the crowd. Can you can you provide gasps? Like a wow? Oh, that's good. <laughs> can I hear that again? Okay, good. <laughs> I feel better now. <laughs> All right. I'm sorry if my head's in the way here, but I think this is straight, but once again, I don't trust it. So I'm going to, don't forget to clean your acetate though, or else you will put your last green onto your new card. Okay. So we'll put the acetate on there. In the corner and we'll give it a little test run. Let me get my black ink cube. When I do um, these really tiny greetings, I actually prefer an ink cube or an ink pad just because it gives me a little bit more control. So does that look straight? That does not look straight. That looks very crooked. And the poor person that would have to suffer through this that is not nice. So let's try it again. I think that's going to be straighter. Okay. Try it again. Now, remember, when you're playing around with this kind of stuff, always just double check to make sure that everything is in that upper corner. That's where a lot of times we go wrong. We think we got it, but we don't double check. Okay, that looks much better. So there, I don't have to have a, a heart attack. There's enough to be stressed out in the world. We don't have to have crooked greetings. I love you today. There we go. <laughs> oh, yeah. Thank you so much. There's 1,400 people watching just on YouTube. I know we see, we see a couple thousand out there because we get like from all the platforms coming in at the same time. And that'd be so great. Thank you so much. So great to have you all here. Okay, I love you today, tomorrow, and every day in between. Okay, 
This one I definitely have to check. You know what? I wonder. No, too small. Okay. Okay. All right, I'm going to check with the acetate. Almost forgot to clean it. Don't listen to my own advice. I'm good at giving advice. I'm not good at taking it, though. <laughs> Anybody else out there like me? You have all the answers except for yourself. Okay. Oh, is this like, okay, I thought it was upside down. Boy, another good reason to check. If you've ever stamped your greeting upside down, that's very joyful. Tomorrow and every, nope, that's crooked. I think it is. Let's see. I love you today, tomorrow, and every day. Yeah, I think it's kind of straight. I think it's straight. Okay. This is making me nervous. So whoever wins this card, I apologize if it's not perfectly straight. It looks pretty straight. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Oh, yeah. That looks good. Okay. I love you today, tomorrow, and every day until the end of time. Oh, that's so cute. That's a really cute card like to send to your kid that's away at college or, of course, to your significant other, maybe to your mom or dad. They would love getting something like that. That's just such a nice, a nice greeting. Okay. We've got two cards, so let's take a look at them again. Let me make sure I have nothing on my hands. I've never been so overprotective of cards in my life now that I'm giving them away. We'll just take a look at them once again in all of their glory. Here we go. We'll get this down here. So there's the peach one. I love you today, tomorrow, and every day until the end of time, and enjoy your birthday. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> I like that, Tom. I like all your little. So, Tom, before we pick, can um, can we see you one more time in the cowboy hat? <laughs> He's got to take his headphones off because the cowboy hat doesn't fit over the headphones. <laughs> oh, yeah, there you are. Oh, that's it. Tom's got a bright, brilliant blue foiled hat from our friend Sherry. Thank you, Sherry. That was a very, very sweet gesture. I'm living the dream now, ladies. I'm living the dream. <laughs> All right. Looking good, hon. Okay. All right. So did you spin the comments? I spinned, spun the comments. Okay. So... Can you put me in the in a small box so I can hold up the uh, the card? Okay. So the first card we're going to give away is the peach one, the I love you card. Okay, and that is going to tonight's viewer, Joanne Colombo. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Joanne, you get this one. That's awesome. Okay, and then who's going to get the tree card? All right, the next one, the tree card goes to Debbie Grot. Yay, Debbie. Debbie, let's get a round of applause for Debbie. All right, Debbie. Woo. Congratulations, Debbie. That's awesome. <laughs> all right, so for our two winners, all you have to do is send an email to customer service, and the email address is info at GinaKDesigns.com. Now, if you forget, just go over to the YouTube video and in the description, I will have the names of the winners and I will have the instructions on how you can claim your card. And I'll mail these cards right out to you. So congratulations. We're going to be doing a lot of this. Now, I have some sad news. I'm not going to be live on Thursday. I'm actually going to be out of town. Now, Tom's not going to be out of town. He's going to be here, but he can't do this alone. It just <laughs> doesn't work. Well, he's got the hat now. Maybe you could do it alone, Han. What do you think? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, you can't do it alone. 
So um, I will be here on Thursday, but I will be back on Friday. And so we're going to do a lunchtime live on Friday to get your weekend started. So we'll definitely have that second live, but I will be out of town for a few days. And um, that gives me one extra day to try to think of something super fun for you guys. All right, everybody. So well, wait, once more before we go, Joanne Colombo. Joanne Colombo. And Debbie Grott. G-R-O-T-T. -T. All right. So congratulations to those two wonderful stampers. Thank you for your comments. Thank you, everybody, for your lovely comments. We just love reading them. Um, if you're watching on YouTube, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss another video. If you're watching on Facebook or Twitch, we're always glad to have you. We hope you enjoyed this evening. Sorry about the blurry parts. Sorry about the coming in and out. We are going to get it taken care of. All right, you guys. So I'll be back on Friday. Friday, Friday, lunchtime live. Tom and I will be here. In the meantime, stay safe, stay healthy. I love you all so very much. And I'll see you again real soon. Bye-bye.